Today I'm going to show you an ID card script per suggestion. It was created by this person and features an overlay that displays the license and relevant information when you use the item. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. Click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. The first thing you need to do is install the dependencies, which are Oxlib and Mugshot Base 64. So right click and open in a new tab. Then hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag over what you downloaded. Then go back and repeat the process again for Oxlib if you don't have it installed already. After you have the dependencies, go over to the releases and download this version here. Again, once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag it over and remove the main from the end. Then go to your server CFG and ensure them. After you've ensured them, hit File and Save. We'll go back to the README on GitHub. Find where it says QB Core Starter Setup and right click, then open in a new tab. Then we'll begin to make the necessary edits. The first edits you need to make are in QB Multi Character, so copy this block of code here. Go back to your resources, into the QB folder, and find QB Multi Character. Then go into the server folder and open the main.lua. Once you're in there, control F and type starter items. What you need to replace is on line 130 and 136. So highlight this and paste what you copied. And then do the same thing here. Then hit File and Save. The next changes you need to make are in QB Inventory, so go back to your Resources and into the QB Folder. Find QB Inventory, go into the Server Folder and open the main.lua. Once you're in there, Control F and search for Driver. Then highlight the code at line 2452, all the way to 2502, and remove it. Then search for driver again till you're here. Go back to the installation guide and copy this block of code here. Then highlight here from line 2379 to 2390, and paste what you copied. Then hit File and Save. The next place to make changes is QB City Hall, so copy this block of code here. Go back to Resources in the QB folder and find QB City Hall. Go into the Server folder and open the main.lua. Then highlight line 19 to 39 and paste what you copied. Then go back to the installation guide and copy this block of code here. Then highlight line 34 to 62 and paste what you just copied. Then hit File and Save. The last thing I'll show is the option to create new licenses. So go back to the installation guide, go to Custom Card Maker, and click the link that's provided. Once you're there, you can start filling out the information. So I'll put fishing license. And you can change the color.
so I'll make it blue. Then you can change the flag that's displayed. And then you can change the prop that's shown here. And after you fill out the information, you scroll down and it provides code for you and tells you where to put it. So for this one, you would put it in the resources config with the rest of the licenses. And if you wanted to include a badge, again, you'd fill out the information. So I'll just put police, select the flag again, or change the color. You can change the prop as well. And you can also upload a custom badge. Same as before, the code's provided, and it tells you where to put it. Now you can start your server and test it out. Okay, so I'm back in the server now. The first thing I'll do is get some licenses. Alright, so I have a driver's license and ID card. So use it and it displays that animation and the information on the right. To get rid of it, hit backspace. Then we'll do it with the ID card as well. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.